My name is Florence. Most women won't admit their age, but I've gotten past the point of caring. I'm 121 years old, or at least that's how long I've been on Earth in this way. Technically, I was born in 1874. After living on Earth for 18 years, which makes me, what, 139 years old? But anyways, everything was going fine until, well, I'll come back to that. I spend my time here, in this historic house. This has been my family's home for many years. Some may wonder why I talk like people do nowadays. But I've grown accustomed to hearing the slang, especially from teenagers that like love to like explore my house and like look for any like sightings of like ghosts, like me. It took a while though to change my vocabulary because most of the time I accidentally make myself known and well. They run out screaming. What I do not understand, though, about people nowadays is when they come in here with cameras and try and claim that a photo of an orb is me. I mean, now, honestly, how does that look like a person? What they need to do is clean their lenses more often. Or, my personal favorite, the people that come in here and claim that they can talk to me. What they end up doing is consulting those of the darker world, which is terribly annoying, because then I have to deal with the spirits, along with the crazy people. Anyways. By now, you must be wondering, why am I here? What happened to me? Why didn't I cross to the other side? Well, I've been wondering that myself. Long story short, I had a tragic death. My fiance showed up at my door one morning, drunk, again, which just irritated me. He let himself in and we went into the kitchen. We got into a little argument that turned into a huge one. I tended to always nag him about his drinking problem, which he didn't understand why. I told him to get out, and my fiance, the love of my life, in his drunken stupor, grabbed me by the neck. Since he had no concept of the laws of physics, he didn't realize that if you jerk someone's neck, it might kill them. Well, it did. I don't know what happened to him. The next thing I knew, I was staring down at my body. I used to wonder why nothing else happened. I always believed in God and in heaven, but I never imagined this would be how it ends. I've come to realize though, that this might be my version of purgatory. Not being alive, but not getting into heaven. I think back a lot about my last night of being alive. And sometimes I wish I wouldn't have lost my temper. Perhaps I would have lived and died of old age. But then again, I'd still be engaged to a drunk with murderous tendencies, which wouldn't be fun anyways. So that's my story. The simple life of a 139-year-old, 18-year-old. Confusing, I know. But I figured I'd share my story with any of you who believe in the supernatural. And if you get to heaven before me, 
Can you put in a good word? I, I, I know God is busy and all, ruling the universe, but I've been waiting for a promotion for over a century. And even a small change would be nice. <laughs>